Well, you can tear a house down in a day, but it takes you about two to three months to build it back. And I don't know that we understand that in agriculture. What you mess up today could take a better part of a lifetime to fix. It makes it hard to do if you can't measure success in relatively short order. Yeah. Hard to build over long term without having some conviction. Well, if the old monitor doesn't show it, it didn't work. Got answer to the to the quarterly stock instead of to the yeah long term good of the company. Well, it's like conversation I had this morning before we started this. They didn't have any drowned out spots this year. Looking more at soil health. Now this is two or three years into it. Didn't have water standing in the field, so no drowned out spots. The yield monitor, instead of having really high and really low areas, was fairly consistent within a range. And you start talking about what we're talking about, you know, rebuilding the house. Um, it's a process. You know, can we exactly put a pencil to it? Those guys that I was talking to, they're like, well, we know it's working. We just don't know how good it's working. But what they're seeing is a prime indicator of what, what we're actually doing out there with, I don't like remediation, but fixing what we've wrecked. I mean, you, you take classic cars. If you, um, let's say you got in a fender bender with a stingray, let's say. Are you just going to scrap it or are you going to fix it? Or a Lamborghini or any of that. We'll go high profile cars. Um, any of that, you're you're just not going to take it to the junkyard and buy another one. You're, you're going to fix it within reason. So it's kind of where we're at.